Hi everyone, this is Peric from P2 Design. You don't need to have 10 years of experience in animation to be able to give critics. And this should be a part of your training as a beginner animator. In this video, I will show you how to create a proper Play Blast in Blender, how to upload it to SyncSketch and use SyncSketch to review your work. And finally, I will give you some tips to be able to review any animation as a beginner or as an advanced user. Let's get started. The first thing you will need is a proper Play Blast. And the first thing you want to avoid is filming your screen while turning around your animation, whether it's using OBS or using your cell phone. This will ruin the point of view of your animation and there are big chances we won't have the correct frame rate. To build a proper Play Blast, if you are working on a cycle like this run cycle, you don't need to output a one minute long animation. I advise you to output one cycle or two cycles. It makes the blending between the two cycles a little easier to read, especially when you want to add notes and we will see that later in the video. Since my cycle runs from frame 0 to frame 24, I will double this value to frame 48 and I will then set the end of my animation on frame 47. Since the first and last frame of a cycle are the same, you don't want to read them twice. By default, your Play Blast resolution will be in HD. You don't need a camera to generate a Play Blast, while you need one to render your animation. Make sure that the frame rate matches the frame rate you were using while animating. In the output section, don't forget to set a path for your animation and give it a name. Quality is less essential for a Play Blast, so we can switch from a PNG export to MPEG video export. From there, you can expose the encoding option and switch to MP4. Now, regarding the quality setup, when you are working on such a short animation, you can use a constant bitrate. And you can use the default setup that are going with the constant bitrate, or you can increase a bit the bitrate to 9000 or 12000 if you will. From there, in the 3D view, make sure that you get rid of the overlays, and you can then go to View, Viewport Render Animation. And Blender will now generate an MP4 video that goes from frame 0 to frame 47. And it will use your current point of view in the viewport. If you zoom out, you can simply render a single image to see how your character will be framed, so that you can run different tests. And once you have the correct framing, you can launch another viewport render animation. I will switch to material preview on my character, then I will hide the overlays, I will frame my character, just render one image to make a test, name the first Play Blast Run 01 and go to View and Render Animation. Once I'm done with this profile Play Blast, I will go into Front View, give another name to my output and render this new Play Blast. If you will, you can add a back view of your character and also a perspective view. I will end up with four video files that we will gather in Blender. If you are working on an animation with a specific camera, just enter camera view, hide the overlays and launch your Play Blast. To now be able to edit our different Play Blast into a single Play Blast, I will open two video sequencers. I will set the bottom one to sequencer mode and the upper one to preview mode. Note that you can open a single editor and switch it to sequence preview mode. In the sequencer, you can press shift A or click add to add your different videos. You can simply select all your videos at once. They will be added one after the other, then you simply have to move those strips one on top of the other. Once you're done, just select the strips you want to hide and press H as in any Blender context. From there, you can open the crop menu and make sure that you crop anything that is not needed in your video. From there, you can use the transform option to move to the side the current animation. 
Then you can select the next strip, press Alt H to unhide it. And to be able to see it over the first strip, you need to change the blend mode from cross to alpha over. From there, you can crop this new strip on both sides, then reposition it, and you can repeat the process for the other strips. Once you are happy with your editing, make sure to rename your file output because this is what Blender will use as an output. And then in the sequence editor, you can head over to view and click sequence render animation. And Blender will calculate the current video. If you want to learn character creation, rigging and animation and take your skill to a professional level, you will find extensive and top-rated Blender courses on p2design.com. Hundreds of professionally edited videos shipped with all the models, rig and Blender files. Use the code P2Design to get 10% off on any of the courses. For me, the best solution to review any animation is SyncSketch. You can benefit of most features with a free account and the pro account is not that expensive. I'm not endorsed by SyncSketch, I just think it's the best tool to review animations. Let's log in and get started. In SyncSketch, you can create as many projects as you want and in those projects, you can create different reviews. I will create a new project that I will call the Test. Since Sketch is a very powerful collaborative platform, so you can add a description and whether share the project with the user of your group or with anyone. We will stick to only project users for the time being and create a new project. From there, you will be prompt to invite any user you want. I will skip this, but basically here, nobody can review your work. I will now click the add review to add a new review. I will call this run cycle, for example, and create it. From there, you just need to add a media. So it can be anything, a video, a simple picture, even 3D models. So I will load my play blast and I will wait for SyncSketch to encode it. It's pretty fast. Once the encoding is done, you can press the play button and it will open the SyncSketch editor. You can add multiple videos to a single review. Let's say you have made some modification on the current animation. You can click the plus button and load the new version of the Play Blast. This way you will be able to keep track of previous critiques and notes. If you then want to share your project or review for anybody to give you critiques, just click the current review button in the top left corner that will bring you back to the review management page. Now to share the current review, click the share button. By default, it will be set up to project users only, but you can open it to external collaborators. This way, you will allow any users to be able to annotate your review and give you feedback. Different option allows you to set a password, for example. To share your current review, just click the save and copy link button and then go to whatever forum you want to get feedback from and paste the current link. On the top right corner of SyncSketch, you have the presentation options. As a collaborative tool, SyncSketch allows you to create live presentation where the different participants can add notes to the review live. On the top, you will find all the drawing options with your basic pencil, which is pressure sensitive, an artistic brush, an eraser for sure. As in Blender or Photoshop, you can switch color by pressing the X key. The laser pointer will allow you to draw on screen as the pencil, but the annotation will disappear as soon as you switch frame. Finally, with an upgraded account, you can even load custom brushes as in Photoshop. The color selection is very intuitive with a preset palette, but you can choose whatever color you want by clicking on your color selector. You can toggle undo with Ctrl Z and redo with Ctrl Shift Z and you have the access up there. And you can compare two different review files through the compare menu. 
On the bottom of the screen, you have all the timeline options. As soon as you draw or sketch on the screen, the frame will turn to yellow. It's like a keyframe in Blender and using the up and down arrow, you can jump from one sketch to the other or use those two buttons. The toggle loop allows you to make the current animation to loop. And those two brackets allows you to set a beginning frame and ending frame on the timeline. You can change the playback speed clicking this option. You can click on one of the yellow bricks and then press Ctrl C or Ctrl X to copy or cut them and paste them on whatever frame you want. Finally, you can activate the drag marker mode and move any keyed sketch on the timeline. You can delete a sketch by pressing the delete key or simply click on the trash icon. The eye icon will allow you to either hide or display the sketches you've done. The ghost icon will allow you to enable or disable the onion skinning mode. And as you click it, you will also be able to change the color of the previous and next sketch in the onion skinning mode. The tracing paper mode will allow you to change the opacity of your, of your play blast. This will give a better readability to your sketches that are not affected by the transparency label. Using the P key or clicking this button, you can flip the canvas. And finally, the held drawing will allow you to have one of your sketch to stay on the current frame and can serve you as a guide. For example, here, I will trace the motion path of the blade and I can quickly sketch some kind of smears or affixes. And this is how I have basically planned my affixes for the final shot directly in Sync Sketch by doodling some trays on the screen. Finally, on the right, you will find the comment section. If you switch to general, the comment won't be bound to any frame, while if you set it to frame, whenever you will select the comment in the comment list on the right, it will jump directly to the associated frame. Finally, you will find option to zoom in and out or change the volume of your play blast. The first tip about giving a good critique is to be honest, humble and respectful. If you are a perfect beginner, just write it in the general comment, I am a beginner and start criticizing the work or giving no. If you are a seasoned artist, there are good chances that there are better artists or animators than you. So stay humble and respectful. The second tip is to always explain what's wrong. Saying this is wrong or it doesn't look good without explaining what feels bad to you won't help anybody. So let know what's wrong to you and what you will do to fix the problem. Now, to be able to critique, watch the animation a few times and then simply track the arcs. Just take a point of reference of the animation and draw a little dot on each frame. As you enable the onion skinning, you will be able to see the arc of the motion and see if it does look clean. You don't need to have years of experience in animation to be able to see a curve on a 2D drawing. Here we can see that the arcs looks very good, but at some point I've spotted a little problem in the spacing of the ball. The ball seems to be accelerating since the spacing is increasing, while it should be decelerating as it's bouncing forward and forward. So from there I can let a comment saying that the spacing looks wrong as it should get shorter and shorter on the horizontal axis. Next tip is that you need to watch the animation frame by frame because whatever your level, you will be able to spot problems like this ball that is supposed to squash against the wall and that is currently not touching it. And you should review your own animation and that's gonna be my last tip to get you into the world of critic. First, play it at real time and see if you spot anything wrong and then play it frame by frame. And here you will be able to spot any troubles like this shoulder pinching or this knee that is not aligned with the foot and it looks like a broken leg. So don't hesitate to make a play blast of your animation, get out of Blender or the animation software you are using and review your own animation. This is the end of this video. 
I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.